I have here some pots that should finish on some burial ground. So what I'm having here is a Soviet watch movement or actually three Soviet watch movements. It's a Zim 2602 and 03. This Raketa movement has a Zim 2603. So I'm going to make from these three movements based on this movement and taking parts from this movements and probably from the third one I'm going to make a dress watch using this case here and this new dial. It's of course some reproduction, it's not original but made from stainless steel and with acrylic crystal and new printed dial. So okay, let's begin. Thanks for joining Thinking Watch, my name is Sebastian and for sure making this watch from actually from a junk will be a challenge, will be very very difficult. Okay, let's take off this dial. Okay, so first surprise here. It seems to be some kind of glue or shellac and well, I see the first very unpleasant thing. The center wheel is broken, so I will have to find some spur. This is the canyon pinion and the pivot from the center wheel is inside. And here also I see that the hair spring is totally, totally bent. It could be fixed, but I will choose the easier way. I will put here a new from an from other balance wheel that is having broken pivots. Okay, let's remove the shock protection. I'm choosing this movement, this Rocketa movement as a base because, because actually from this shock protection, I think that's some advantage. Okay, so the spring is out, now the stone, that's the stone and now I can take off the wheel, first the balance cock. The movement itself, it's some Soviet production, probably uh, copied in the 40s or later. And oh, another surprise, this I didn't saw before, <laughs> the pellet fork here is missing. So another thing, I will have to find a pellet fork, I will take the pellet fork from this movement here. I'm hoping to make from these three junk movements one that is working. Okay, here at least the main spring is okay. Let's check the pellet fork. Is it fitting here? Theoretically, that's not the same movement, but practically, you know how it can be. It's not always fits, especially they were built in different time, in different periods. And probably also in different company. I don't feel here any resistance when I winding it. So probably the main spring here is broken. So I cannot check if the pellet fork is working properly. Is it engaging properly with the escape wheel? So what I'm doing here now pretty quickly. So the video is a little bit speed up here. I'm unscrewing all the screws and will in a moment take off all the bridges and starting this assembly of this movement. As you will see in a moment, it's pretty simple movement, not really complicated. Here in this barrel is hiding probably a broken main spring. That's the center wheel. This is probably the fourth wheel and this is the third 
wheel and the third wheel is also having a broken pivot the pivot on which you are installing the second hand the sub second hand so the third thing i will have also find a spur for this let's check the main spring okay so it's not broken that's a good sign it's only bent i will show you this in a moment so probably from this but as i remember the main springs are a little bit different so i will have to check it very very carefully make measurements let's move to the keyless work and let's disassemble it first the setting lever spring here is the yoke spring very old-fashioned construction I don't know if you saw my video about Seagull S36 about its service it has in fact very similar construction the only difference the only difference is oops okay. <laughs> the screw now is damaged so also the screw here so I didn't finish uh, the construction is very very similar the only difference is that the seagull is bigger yeah this movement has 26 millimeter diameter and seagull 36 so one centimeter more okay so now I will have to prepare I think I will take the hairspring from this wheel This movement looks a little bit different, but actually in the construction are the same. I hope they will be. I never done similar project before, so I don't know if this won't be too difficult. It could be that this project will be a total flop. That's the hairspring seems to be okay, but the pivot is broken. So this is the problem here, the hairspring. This one I have to replace and I will take this hairspring. Also the center wheel, it's have a broken pivot that it's here in this canyon pinion and I also was able to find a spur and the third wheel unfortunately also have a broken pivot and the mainspring as I said is all right so this one I can reuse that's all about this video so stay tuned and be alerted for the second part and probably also maybe the third part I don't know so I'm starting cleaning all the parts, it's not very exciting thing and therefore I'm not recording this process. So in the meanwhile see my other videos and I will catch you in the next one. Bye bye.